Muslims around the world lord Imran Khan on International Day to Combat Islamophobia. The UN accepted a resolution put forth by Imran Khan's government in 2022 to declare March 15th as the International Day to Combat Islamophobia. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan, the beloved leader of a vast majority of Pakistanis and the champion of Muslims around the world, has been held in unjust incarceration for 223 days. The unelected coalition government of Pakistan is passing laws which impact the entire nation through ordinances, even while the parliament is in session. PTI's elected leadership told the media of how laws are being bulldozed with malified intent. Barrister Gore said that while legislation is the right of the parliament, it must be made under the rules of the assembly. Today, the unconstitutional government has submitted bills in the assembly violating the constitution and the law of the land. The newly elected interim chairman of PTI in the absence of founder chairman Imran Khan, Barrister Gohar Ali Khan has asked the Supreme Court to ensure that the party which has the people's mandate be given the reserved seats. Dozens of PTI's reserved seats have been handed over unconstitutionally to the illicit coalition government by the biased and controversial Election Commission of Pakistan, setting a dangerous precedent. Cricket fans were escorted out of the National Stadium Karachi by the Sindh Police's Special Security Unit for raising slogans in favor of the unlawfully jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan. It is worth remembering that Pakistan's former test captain and the only skipper to have won a Cricket World Cup for the nation, Imran Khan has played many an innings on these very grounds with passionate fans cheering for him. Pakistani Americans demanded that the IMF respect the mandate of the people of Pakistan as they held a protest outside the IMF headquarters in Washington, D.C. on Thursday. According to a press release by the First Pakistan Global, a non-profit organization comprising of entities and members of overseas Pakistanis, and quote, the Pakistani diaspora in the U.S. held a protest in front of the IMF headquarters in Washington, D.C., demanding a free, independent and transparent investigation by international observers and a fact-finding committee prior to any loan disbursements to the illicit regime in Pakistan, end quote. Al Jazeera's correspondent in North Gaza reported early morning on Friday a mass casualty attack on eight seekers at the Kuwaiti roundabout in Gaza City by Israeli forces. Gaza's health ministry says that at least 21 people were killed with more than 150 injured. Health officials say that the death toll is expected to jump sharply following the attack. At least 31,341 Palestinians have been killed and 73,134 injured in Israeli attacks on Gaza since October 7th. 